And that means we're going to be seeing a lot of Serena Williams. The last time we saw her play an official match, it was a rough one. The U.S. Open final. I mean, Serena absolutely lost her mind, taking it out on the chair umpire, Carlos Ramos. And in the end, losing to Naomi Osaka, the young Japanese winning her first Grand Slam title. But, oh, my goodness. This was a, a rough way. Serena has always been... At her, at her most out of control at the U.S. And we saw her do that against Kim Kleisters years ago in the semis, against Sam Stozer in the final. She did it again. But it is a new year, and surely she has had months to put that behind her. What do you expect from Serena Williams in 2019? Well, I think she would definitely be happy to sort of get that in the rearview mirror and not really have to think about that. We haven't seen her play a competitive match kind of since then. So yes. I think a lot of it just had to do with all of the stress, all of the pressure she's been feeling. And in certain moments and matches, that's what you see in Serena a little bit more. So I would think in 2019, she would come in just a little more relaxed. She looks like she's gotten a little bit fitter. It's always tough after having a baby <laughs> to come back <laughs> and to fully get back to where you were before. It takes a while even for the best, and Serena certainly has been. So I would expect her to just be a little bit more relaxed, let her game flow a little bit more, and hopefully we won't see any more moments like that one. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I definitely can't exactly speak to coming back after a baby, but uh, <laughs> I'm just, from what I've heard, it is extremely difficult. But I also can speak to the time I did spend with her, and she is the most competitive person I've ever met in my life, bar none. And so that comes out at times in matches, as you saw, under that kind of pressure. Maybe not quite as much here in, a, in an exhibition with her sister, but she is going to have those moments, and I think she's also so good at putting it behind her. Yes. And this year will be completely fresh. She will have either forgotten about that moment or used it to motivate her to be even more competitive, even more uh, on edge going into these matches, I think. And it's what's gotten her to be the greatest of all time, and uh, that combined with her athleticism is just uh, really a perfect storm. That tennis we just saw from Serena took place Thursday night in Abu Dhabi. Again, it was an exhibition match. And guess what? Her husband and baby Olympia were on hand. Check out, look at Olympia. I mean, she is totally into this match. The applause there, believe it or not, was for Venus. Venus had won that point. And Serena looked over at her husband and said, is she clapping for Venus? It's all in the family, It's, like, it's all I in guess the family. And Venus is, uh, is, is pretty good at her job. She's um, too cute. I, I love it. All right, let me ask you this. I, I agree with everything you, you both have said about Serena Williams, but she's trying to tie Marker court record for 24 major titles. And surely, I got it in my head at some point, that's going to happen. Can she do it? Can she get to 24 in Melbourne in a couple of weeks' time? She already got past Steffi Groff when she won her 23rd in her last Australian Open in 2017. Didn't defend her title last year. What do you, got, what do you think? And, and if it's not Serena, do you have a favorite in mind as we go plunge into the 2019 season? Um, I don't know. I... I, I... At my own peril, I, I pick against Serena Williams. I've done it before, and I've been, I've been burned. It was a big mistake, but I just don't know if uh, I don't know if I'd take her as a favorite over the field right now. Um, if I'm gonna pick a favorite, I might take Sloane Stevens. I, I love her game. Um, I love when she can, the way she can play offense and defense. Um, so if she's healthy, I, I like her. Yeah, it's always tough to bet against Serena, and it seems to motivate her, so maybe we'll help her by saying that, <laughs> yeah. and she will kind of uh, push through. But I think she'll maybe need a little more time, um, you know, sort of get things going from, yeah. you know, the end of last year. So I would say maybe not in Australia for Serena, but Svitolina, she's going to be an interesting one to watch with the way she ended the year. Yeah. So I certainly would like her chances. All right, we'll have a look at it. So, again, Serena only played seven times last year, got to two major finals, didn't win a title, including those two majors.